Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing another vlog, as y'all can tell. Um, I am coming on here to tell you guys, first of all, God is so good, okay? And he is so good. Let me tell you a story. So first of all, I ended up selling my couch that was over here. The blue couch that you guys saw in my last previous vlog. The big one that was taking up that whole space sold um i've been wanting to sell it for the longest ever since i got the couch over here the white one that you guys have also seen as well since i got i got that couch i've been wanting to sell the blue one so rewind back to when i got that couch so once i got that couch the white one i was thinking hmm, what should i do with that blue couch i wanted to actually maybe um like save it for my next apartment or like a house or whatever and use that sofa as like in my guest room or something like that um not not per se guest room sorry um my um what's the word yeah i was either gonna use it either in my guest room um like a lounge area or something like that or like a, a home office type i would put that couch there or I would have um, placed it in my beauty room or something like that or like my um, YouTube studio room um, but then I thought mm, maybe I'm gonna like something else so let me sell it so I ended up getting like um, uh, what you call it like a, a idea of me selling the couch to like different um, like to place a couch uh, for sale on different like platforms um, Facebook to be one um, Craigslist to be number two but Craig, Craigslist, Craigslist was not gonna do it so end up going on to Facebook marketplace and place the couch on there right took pictures took little videos and then I placed it on uh, Facebook marketplace as soon as I posted it, a couple of seconds later, people started hitting me up of it, um, up on it. And me, this is my first time selling something off of, um, selling something online, especially like Facebook Marketplace, whatever, right? So long story short, I got scammed the first time. I got scammed. Um, somebody was offering to pay. I was I was selling it for. Um, I posted it on my, uh, Facebook Marketplace and was selling it for $950. Um, the fact that I was posting, the reason why I was selling it for $950, because I bought the couch for, uh, how much was it did I pay? How much did I pay? I think it was like $1,900 or $2,000 for it. Um, but I sold it for $950 because, one, I had it, excuse me, I had it for like a year and some change and then two also um it started to like kind of be less comfortable than for me um and then three i outgrew the space i grew i outgrew the color and then four i also didn't like i just didn't like it anymore you know um it was too too uh, too blah you know and sitting on it um when i was like trying to sleep on it like taking naps and stuff because i thought i'd be, be taking naps y'all um so when i was trying to take a nap um it would be like too too low you know um like there was no cushion in it. there wasn't too much cushion for it to like hold me you know so that's one of, that's another reason why i was uh selling it or didn't want it anymore pretty much but anyways back to how i got scammed so somebody hit me up trying to <laughs> i i am so clueless when it comes to like um scamming um i need to like educate myself for real like with this whole scamming nonsense going on around i didn't know that you can scam people on zale i did not know that so anyways i was so desperate to selling this couch and whatever so as soon as the person hit me up and he was like, okay, yeah, I, I'm ready to uh, make the payment of the 950. I was like, okay, cool. So we exchanged, um, he asked me for my uh, Zelle number 
as in like my phone number or whatever so he can like um place the order in well place the payment through zell <sighs> long story short yeah <laughs> now when i think about it i want to slap myself so hard but um so he ends up uh sending me the 950 but it doesn't hit into my account usually when you send through zell the person immediately gets the um the amount right so he's like oh uh in your email you're gonna receive an email because i received an email like he he received an email stating that uh, my zelle has to be upgraded to a business account and in order for it to be upgraded to a business account somebody has to uh send an extra 300 dollars, and then after the 300 dollars gets sent then i have to um send back the 300 dollars um to that person what, what the heck what? now when i look back and i think about that nonsense it don't make no sense it don't make no damn sense anyways so <laughs> then um i end up i ended up sending him the 300 dollars and as soon as i hit the 300 dollars deposit well zell payment i get another email stating that i need to send thank you for the, this amount such and such and i need to send um an extra 200 dollars. i said what this don't make no damn sense now now you're asking me for mo more money and that's when it clicked into my head like bro you're getting scammed i'm like what the heck what the heck is going on spiritual warfare you know like somebody's trying to get my money so anyways then um <laughs> The devourer was all up in that okay so then um i i start like facebook messaging this person because we are facebook messaging back and forth so i i facebook message message the person saying that what is this why is it why is this why is this transaction so complicated usually when you sell you send sell uh money through zell you get it instantly there's no oh you gotta pay this you gotta pay that I sent you $300, you got it instantly. Why am I not getting my $950 instantly? So I was like just typing it up or whatever. And then his response is, his response is, oh, sorry for the inconvenience, but um, you need to make another $200 purchase. I said, I'm not giving you an extra $200. You need to give me my money back and send me the 950 dollars if you want this couch if you don't want this couch then get the stepping i'm going to do business with somebody else and i said it just like that and then he's like oh uh the i can't i he can't um sorry i gotta pick up leah because he needs attention he's so needy um yeah so i was like no he says oh uh i can't send the money back i said you you scammed me and i need my money back and then he says um yeah sorry i can't give you my your money back because the transaction has already been done i said then refund me the money that's all you need to do send the money back the same way i sent you the money you can send me back my money what is there not to comprehend so we're going back and forth and i i lost my temper and i like I typed some some mean stuff on there but anyways I didn't face him and then uh, I went on Google and I print out the screenshots where I like screenshotted um, the images that the same email that was popping up onto my email I screenshot them and sent it to him and I was like is this what you're doing this is the low life type of deal that you're doing go and get a job and make money the same the same way other people are making money and stop scamming people then i blocked him reported him i don't know if facebook is gonna do anything about it but <sighs> i lost the hundred dollars anyways um so after that after i lost the three hundred dollars i was like okay if somebody is to like scam me again or try to scam me i'm going to scam them back so another person hit me up with the same foolishness of oh do you have zell i said i only accept cash if you don't have cash don't hit me up simple as that 
so then he's like oh i don't have cash i said why don't you have cash and then he says oh my brother is gonna come and pick up the furniture tomorrow because i can't because i'm out of town blah blah the same nonsense that the other person who's who actually scammed me told me so i hit him back up and i gave him the same exact message i just copy and pasted it onto that um that chat and um he left <laughs> he left the chat I was like, yo, if you want to scam somebody, go and scam some, go, go and scam your mama, not me. I learned my lesson quick. But it, anyways, so I put the post up on, I put the, um, the couch on Facebook market at marketplace on November 8th. And then I sold, I sold the couch yesterday, November, what's yesterday's date? November 10th is when I sold the couch. So two days, it took two days for somebody to actually buy the couch from me. And I'm so grateful for this person. I thanked her really, really. Um, I thanked her very, very much. And um, yeah, she was such a sweet, sweet, sweet young lady from New York. So um, yeah, I ended up selling the couch and she, she bought cash. She gave it to me in cash because I was like, I don't accept any like Zelle payments, cash shop. None of that nonsense. Run me my money in cash, okay? If you're serious, because I'm serious about selling this thing. So if you're serious about buying, bring the cash. So yeah, that's that. Anyways, um, right now I am going to be uh, trying to bring the, um, I ended up getting, okay, so let me cut this short. So I ended up buying a, um, what you call it? Um, let me place you guys down for a second. Holding too many things in my hands. All right, Leo, come on up. Come on. Leave that fly alone. Come on. Come, baby. So I ended up um purchasing a carpet from value furniture um i actually went to the um the showroom and i ended up looking at it seeing it and purchased it so um yeah i'm gonna go head downstairs into my car and try and retrieve that carpet and bring it back up here it's gonna be a hassle because it's, it's really big and um i don't know if i'm gonna put it up right now I will try to I don't know how I'm gonna fit <sighs> I'm gonna lift this this table this concrete table and place the couch I mean place the um what you call it there and place um damn Leo your dick is getting too big what oof Oh, yo, dogs are so nasty, super unclean. Like you gotta clean them all the time. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs and get the um, the carpet up and try to put it up. Oh, I am so tired today, y'all. I am super, super tired, and I still have to like finish up my homework. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this homework, to be honest, y'all don't know but anyways um yeah I will, I will catch you guys later um when I come back down upstairs I will catch you guys in a second sorry I'm just like staring out the window into people's apartments um Strange. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this carpet up and um in color the day.
All right, y'all. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change real quick because um, this top right here is actually a onesie. Um, sorry, it's actually a bodysuit, but I didn't tie it up because um, you know it's very uncomfortable and whatever. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change into this real quick. You guys seen this shirt before? I got this from uh, Forever 21, actually. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna change because this is too good for a corporate. And um, it's gonna leave a whole bunch of like one of the, those white fuzzies, fuzzles. So I'd rather not risk it. So, yeah, let me change. Right, y'all. So I went ahead and changed. Um, I'm not sure what I should use a little cart thing, um, like a dolly. What if I should just carry it? Um, it's a lot of work, man. A lot of work. I think I'm gonna use a dolly because too much going on. You guys, I am really tired today. I don't know why. I'm on the beat. I'm on the beat. All right, y'all, so I quickly had to change. Sorry about the lighting. Let me see if I can fix the lighting real quick. Okay, y'all. I hope you guys can see me better now. But I had to quickly change because I was so hot. It was it was a struggle bringing this carpet up. This is why it looks like that's the color. Now I feel like it goes well with the the floor, but I don't know if it, go, it goes well with my furniture. The one that I actually wanted to get um, was the cream color right there. It was kind of like that, but it was gonna be too short. It was ten feet by. So the initial, the initial. Um, carpet that I wanted to get was the cream color but I didn't get that one because um the space is a lot bigger so the length of my couch is or sofa is 13 13 by like I think five or six um that carpet was 10 by eight this one is um the one that I just purchased that one is uh, 12 by I believe 10 yeah 12, 12 by 10 so I'm gonna try and see if I can make it work first I'm going to um, you know vacuum real quick because um, it's a little dirty and actually guys like I just measured um, the space over here. Man, Leo was in this on this couch. Leo was on this couch and dirty again, so I have to wash it over again. Man. Anyways, um, yeah, this couch is a little bit over 13 feet. So it's like almost 14 feet to be honest with you guys. Yeah, it's almost 14 feet. So and then that's the length. Yeah, that's the length. Um, now when I'm no, sorry, that's the width. I believe is it the width? Length times width. 
that was the length of the sofa. The um, width of the sofa is is about four feet. So it's like fourteen feet by four feet ish. So yeah, that's that. So let me go ahead and vacuum real quick and I'm gonna take the stuff off of um, the table. We gonna we gonna um, speed we're gonna speed it up a little bit um, for this montage. But yeah, uh, we'll speed it up and then try and figure out how I'm going to put this carpet and raise this concrete table by myself. We'll try. We'll try. Oh, okay, we managed. Ooh. Sorry if you guys saw some type of like a little bit of titties coming out. But ooh. that was a workout, y'all. Alright, let's do this. See what I mean? It's kind of too small. Too short. Not long enough. But you know, make it work somehow. Maybe I should switch it around, right? Yeah, I should switch it around. That way, it's easier.
See, yeah, it's really short, but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna have to make it work somehow. Because that's the only way. so far so it's looking like Y'all, oh, I gotta sit down for a second. I did all that work to realize that I put it the wrong way, like the side that is longer, the 13 inch, sorry, the 13 feet side. I put it in that way. Oh, y'all. That's why it looks so weird. Oh, I gotta do this all over again. Crap. <coughs> all right. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done. flip it over because the side has stains so I'm just gonna flip it over so the stain cover so the seeds can cover the stains
is some hardcore labor right here. Whew. Think we can manage something out y'all. Because this thing is extremely heavy out. Extremely heavy. You guys, I scraped up the floor right now. Okay. Oh. 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 broke down there. Oh no. Something definitely broke. Got the pieces right here. I don't know, but it's gonna have to work. <sighs> hey y'all, so I am back from my little errand runs and I um I ended up first <coughs> first of all, like <laughs> I bought some water the other day and there was spilling everywhere so i was trying to figure out what's going on tell me why this bottle 
was mushed up like this already and this was the cause of the spillage but I'm just wearing my um, Yes, so I just came from grocery shopping and quick errand, errand runs shopping um, before I go take a shower and stuff, right? And work on my homework. So I'm gonna show you guys um, like quick little things that I purchased. I'm not gonna show you guys my groceries. Groceries are my usuals. Um, I just went and picked up like, you know, little stuff, essential stuff that I, I always be you know needing or eating um so i just picked up some beef um what did i buy oh some smoked salmon that's already made so i just have to um put it in the oven to like warm it up so that's what i'm gonna eat for dinner i'm gonna show you guys after that once um done showing you guys what i purchased um and then i also got some some steak some uh t-bone steak and then some ground beef for my spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Um, and then also I got some crab cakes from everything I bought from Whole Foods except of like um, ice cream and stuff I bought from Target. So with that being said, let me show you guys what I picked up from Nordstrom Rack. That's my first time that I ever um, shopped at Nordstrom Rack. And I picked up like just basics. So let me show you guys. Um, I'm gonna start off with this, with this um, bag right here. This is what, this is mostly clothing, um, and I bought these because the weather has changed. So I still want to look good at the same time while the weather changed. And then I also needed some some leggings as well. I don't know where my leggings went. I don't. I can't find them. I don't know if they were in my gym bag, which was stolen by um, someone when they broke into my car. I don't know, but I can't find. My leggings for some reason so anyways i just picked up this sweater it's a crop top sweater um with a turtleneck and this was very cheap it was 29.97 um and i was gonna go and i was gonna grab it in brown as well um or like nude but i left it because i, I didn't try it on i didn't have the time to try it on they were already closed on the fitting rooms so i just picked up the black one because you can never go wrong with black and then once I try this on and it fits, then I'm gonna go ahead and buy the brown one as well. Go and get the brown one. So I got that. Then I got this camouflage um, chilling in the house, like joggers or leggings. Uh, they stretch, so that's pretty awesome because now with my, my new body, <laughs> um, I need something that, you know, stretch stretches out and stuff, so. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking. I am looking very, very good. Um, really love the doctor that I went to and stuff. I still have to post a one month post up video because right now I'm already at a month and two weeks post up, I believe, or a month and three weeks post up. So I'll be eight weeks very soon. Uh, that's when I'm going to go and get my wood therapy massages, which I will take you guys with me as well. And then um, I also got these leggings. So these are from. I don't even know the brand. I think they just, oh, the brand is called Zella. So they just some regular leggings. They look super small, but they do stretch out. And this is in a size extra, extra small. I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought I picked up an uh, extra small, but it's an extra, extra small. So I will show you guys how this looks like. I did try it on. Um, yeah. yeah, I did try it on earlier and um, <clears throat> it fits really nice can't wait to wear this to the gym and at first i thought it was gonna be like um like short short length leggings but they're not they're actually full length so love that for me and it also has like pockets that you can put your phone in there and uh headphones and then it also has like these this little pocket right here i guess you can put your head your phone over there as well on that side so that's that on clothing. And then I'm um, gonna go into this bag right here. So in this 
bag, I have just um, basic stuff. I'm sorry, Leo. I don't know why this camera keeps going out of focus, man. Like, bruh. And sorry about the lighting. Lighting is a little off. Let me see if I put you guys over here if the lighting is going to be better. I don't know if I made any type of difference. Let's see. Okay, so I don't know if the lighting is a little better now, but anyways, I picked up this little um, purse belt um, because I'm going to use this when I go and walk Leo because I can't be holding things in my hands while I have to like pick up hoop, Leo's poop and stuff. So I'm just going to put my keys in here and my cell phone, which is usually what I'd be taking with me. Let me see if it fits. Now, how am I going to be taking this off? <clears throat> Let's see if the holes are going to fit. I think so. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Perfect. It's nice and snug. Very, very nice. Love it. I am absolutely in love with this um, because I was looking for actually a fanny pack but this goes even better I can even use this like to go out and stuff and yeah so this is a space I don't know if you guys, you guys can see but yeah this is a space let me see if my phone fits See if my phone fits and if my okay so my phone does fit let me see if my keys are gonna fit i have a whole bunch of keys y'all i don't know why but let's see the keys are kind of tight in there yeah the keys are not gonna fit i'm um, not gonna close that for sure they're not gonna fully close but it does fit so that's for awesome because now i can be walking leo picking up leo if i need to hi baby picking him up he's over here he needs attention again um picking it up whenever you know i need to and i still have you know my other hand to do whatever with right so that's pretty awesome and this was actually on sale as well this was uh, 1997 so that's how much I paid for that I really am gonna use this for my everyday uh, stuff like running errands instead of carrying a whole purse um, credit cards can fit in here too debit cards can definitely fit in there instead of carrying the whole purse with me this is it Google's sick this off sleeping um set I just, I just thought this was super cute so 
so that's why i purchased it and then it has like this little clips right here i guess like if you're doing like your uh, skincare routine you can use these clips to um tie your hair and it even it has these little silky um small hair ties as well they suck so that's pretty awesome and i can't wait to use this tonight i'm definitely gonna use it tonight because i still don't have blinds in my um my apartment so sometimes the sun be waking me up so with this yeah with this i can definitely definitely get my night's sleep on perfectly all right then i've got some some pairs of uggs some house slippers uggs house slippers because the reason why i bought these one is because it's uggs two they're comfortable kushlik um snuggy and three the most important part is because i lost well not lost i <laughs> stepped on poop last night if you don't follow me on my instagram so you don't know the story but yesterday i was walking leo and um i ended up what you call it um i ended up stepping on 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 somebody's poop like somebody's dog's poop because they decided not to pick up after their dog so the poop was like this big it was so fat and um i was distracted on my phone trying to purchase tickets for um the black panther movie so i stepped on it accidentally so as i'm walking i feel like boom like i stumble upon the poop and poop was all the way covered up to my toes like imagine these are my toes right these are my toes and this is the sandal so poop was all the way from my toes all the way up to down up here covered in shit um dog poop dog feces <laughs> crazy but yeah that's the reason why i ended up buying uh these black ones um just because i don't have any house slippers now because um after i <laughs> i stepped on poop i just left those slippers on the floor there was this homeless guy who was so sweet he was willing to wipe the poop off of uh, my my house shoes but i said no nah, it's okay it was these the adidas slide slippers um that's what i used to go and walk leo and i also used to walk around the house with as well oh, nasty but whatever so yeah i left them on the floor um sorry i left them outside uh, because there's no way i was gonna take them bring them <laughs> back upstairs with me smelling like poop um even if you wash them i don't think that that smell would have been able to go away but yeah anyways these are the pairs this is in a size seven um i am a size seven nowadays i don't know my feet i guess grew because i used to be a size five then i went to a size six and it's a six and a half for the longest i was a six and a six and a half for the longest and then i guess once i hit my 30s i guess my my feet grew and now i am a size seven even though a 6.5 will fit me um but not too comfortable as how a seven is and these were um 49.97 so 50 dollars for these pairs and they're just really really cute look how how fluffy they are let me put this tag off look how fluffy they are i wish they came in um in a white uh fabric but they're very very gorgeous love them and um ouch oh now i have this table over here um i gotta be careful walking but yeah they're very very comfortable extremely extremely comfy and i don't think i'm gonna use this these to walk leo at all so yeah that's how they look like <laughs> So yeah, that's that. And it also gave you like a lift as well, so you're kind of a little taller. So as I'm walking with them, I feel like they're kind of a little heavy, the heavy side, but they'll do. I use them for house shoes or whatnot. And then I also picked up these Steve Madden um, pumps. This is how they look like. Uh, they're uh, suede material or velvet material 
and this is how the chunks are the uh, heels are I just thought this was very very comfortable um, and the reason why I, I bought them was because I'm going to a wedding um, I invited as a plus one to a wedding in December in Miami so the dress that I'm gonna be wearing is gonna match this very very well I'm debating whether to wear these shoes or all these uh, Adels some Edelman shoes. Let me show you guys. Y'all, yeah, these shoes are so chunky. These house slippers. Yeah, or I'm gonna wear these ones over here. I only wore these once to um, a lounge, and my feet were on fire. My feet were hurting, hurting. But um, that's why they're dirty. Uh, but these are also in a size 7, I believe. Is it? Where's a shoe size up there? Strange. Oh yeah, these are also in a size 7. So, European size 37, US size 7. So, those are the shoes, shoe sizes. So, yeah, so I'm not sure whether I'm going to wear these pair or this pair. I kind of... I'm leaning towards this because of comfortability, 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 comfortability. <laughs> oh man, tongue twister, comfortability. Um, I'm leaning towards these, and then these are kind of like another option. But also, the heels on this are kind of chunky as well. The reason why I got the chunky ones is because it's just a little bit comfortable on my feet. Um, to stand for a long period of time um, if I have to so that's the reason why but yeah we'll see once the dress arrives the dress is also in black um, I kind of should have gotten the blue one but the dress does not come in blue so that's the reason why that specific dress that I want doesn't come in blue so that's the reason why I got the black one but whatever it does the job so that is it that's all I got from Nordstrom <laughs> okay now quickly I'm gonna show you guys how <laughs> this um these leggings fit me and um and then you guys tell me whether you guys agree with me or not. I'm wearing my stage 2 for her and like I showed you guys um, I zip it or like I place it all the way to the end um, so that it can snatch me up some more but yeah so let me go ahead and try this on for you guys so it's a little hard to get the legs in because it is like extra extra small but you will make it work this is a workout this is definitely a workout and you guys the reason i'll show you guys the reason why i actually purchased them uh, the color the reason why i got the color because i have something that matches it very well so yeah i hope it's the same like orange tone <sighs> this is definitely a workout i wish i would have gotten it in an extra small instead of an extra extra small Ooh. okay I got it in this is not how it was fitting before this is way tighter than what I thought I mean than what it was before what did I gain weight in a couple of seconds all right y'all so I managed to get it on um, the camera does not pick up 
it doesn't depict the actual color that well but this is how they look like just a pair of cute leggings cute cute leggings that's how the back looks like I don't know if you guys can see, but that is a back. Very, very. Um, yeah, that's how the back looks like. Don't mind my hair, y'all. I just twisted it up and put it in a ponytail, tied it in, put it in a hat. So don't judge. Let's up on the side and the front. So let me show you guys the reason why I bought this is because of this top that I have. All right, y'all, this is the reason why I bought this. Sorry, let me, the Tata's gotta hide. But yeah, this is the reason why I bought it, because of this top. Um, but I didn't know was the difference in color. They're very, kind of similar, but not as um, what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna match perfectly, um, but kinda, it's not too bad not too bad it still does the job so that is how that looks like with this type of um with this um yes so that is how that looks like leggings and the top um the jacket if i get cold it fits so that is it. What is this? My um, old room key, hotel room key for um, when I went on uh, Hilton Honors. <laughs> but yeah, uh, no, it's a room key when I went to um, my little work work assignment in Texas. So I guess I had this on and I just kept it in there. But yeah, I love it. I love it. And I can't wait to use this to go to the gym. But anyways, let's go ahead and change out and then we gonna cook, okay? Because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten yet, so let me eat. Okay guys, so I know I'm looking super rough right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat. Um, okay guys, so I'm about to eat. Um, and yes, I'm sitting on the floor right now <laughs> because my table is so low and I don't have a dining table yet, so but let me show you guys my food decoration. The lighting is so off. Oh my God, no. I'm gonna do some. Okay, I hope the lighting is a little better. I don't know why it's showing so blue. I don't know why it's doing that. All right, y'all, so I'm about to eat and um, then call it a night. Mm. It's so good, but the food has gotten kind of cold a little bit. Yes, yeah, so I'm sitting on the floor because I don't have a dining set table. Oh my God, this is so good. I wanna dig in already, but I wanna tell you guys quickly about this champagne or sparkling wine, white wine. That I found on that I found at uh, Whole Foods, and I guess it's inspired by what's his name, Snoop Dogg. I don't know. I'm gonna try it out. I don't know if it's gonna be. I don't know if it's gonna be um too strong or not. I don't know, but we'll try it out. I got my. Oh, sorry. Got my uh, wine glass right here. And this is kind of like my second drink since my surgery. Um, I kind of cut off on drinking um, for a bit. So, anyway, so this is what I am eating. This is what I made. Made the roasted potatoes. This I bought from um, Whole Foods. That's how it came. I just warmed it up. And then I have my, uh, what is this? Um, Caribbean style rice and um, a salad right here. So that's strawberries, apples, tomatoes, avocados, and spinach. So I'm just gonna go ahead and eat it up <laughs> and um, see how good it is.
Actually, let me try this salmon first of all. Ooh. It is so bomb. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm. The rice is bomb too. A little salty but it's good it's really good so bad all right yeah let me try this <laughs> let me try this out and see how it works i don't know how to pop open a bottle so it might go everywhere, I think. Okay, what's going on here? Okay. Let me do this in the sink because I know I'm gonna spill it everywhere. I really love the um, the design of it. Really, really gorgeous. I love the black, the matte black, and how it kind of like blends in over here and becomes kind of like smoky. But yeah, let's try this out. No, 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 don't drink it. <laughs> don't drink that. It's not good for you. Oh, but that was good. That was really good. And yes, I did spill it. Like I said, I was. Yeah, I haven't drunk alcohol in a while, so. Ooh. Let's try Mmm, it's so good. It kind of tastes like a little bit like a Stella Rose type. But, mm. really good. <coughs> now, I'm not going to drink too much of this. This is going to be enough. Also have my water over here as well, just in case. You know, you can never go wrong with water. Put on <coughs> my roasted potatoes. Okay, I was, I'm gonna warm this thing up again because it's cold. It's really cold. Yeah, very cold. It's not gonna work. I think the rice is the only thing that's yeah the rice is the only thing that's still warm so let me warm this up okay. all right y'all i'm just gonna go ahead and watch a movie real quick and then while i eat and then go to sleep so i guess i'll catch you guys probably tomorrow and that's about it. This wine is super strong, y'all. It's very strong. And I don't know if I'm gonna be finishing it. But anyways, 
battery is about to end it's about to die so bye bye hi y'all so today's the next day today is saturday november 12th and um this is the setup that i managed to do yesterday um the what you call it <laughs> the carpet is on it looks very very good i love it extremely extremely love it um but yeah so right now i'm just gonna go ahead and um go actually to i'm gonna head out and get to uh nike because um i'm gonna go and pick up my gym bag from there so i purchased it online so i'm just gonna go ahead and pick it up um because i did uh pick up instead of shipping so yeah that's what i'm gonna head out to and then i'm gonna come back then we're gonna um i don't know what exactly else i'm gonna do afterwards probably cook i'm not sure yet but i have to clean the dishes it is looking outrageous out here but anyways let me show you guys quickly what i got on like i told you guys yesterday i'm gonna be using this purse this belt purse like every day this is now my go-to but yeah so i just have on my skims leggings um i don't know what collection this is i forgot but i will um write it down below um this top right here is from zara it's just a um what do you call it a high neck uh or pull pull neck i don't know how you call these i forgot how uh, you guys call it here in america <laughs> but we call it pull neck um british um oh sorry uh you guys call it a turtleneck right so i got this turtleneck on it's green and that's it i'm taking leo with me because we're gonna go for a walk for a little bit as well so i don't know if the lighting ca caught it well but here is the outfit one more time okay so yeah here's a full outfit right here that is how i am looking like mm -hmm. that is it and then just um my everyday lululemon hat that i wear all the time you can never go wrong with this and um, it matches my shoes so that is it peace see you guys later bye